What's up, guys? It's Joe Sullivan from Strength the Sullivan Way. Um, I just wanted to, uh, like, address an issue that I had in this video. It's just, like, quick uh, training footage from uh, yesterday, uh, Tuesday. Um, but a lot of people, like, talk about uh, using backup movements to, like, let's say close grip or overhead press or floor press or something like that, uh, incorporating them into their training to address like their own specific weak points, uh, in like certain, like the big three movements. But a lot of people struggle with like adding them in effectively, uh, and not, and let's say for someone like me who benches frequently, um, doing, adding those in and not allowing them to, uh, affect your next workout is going to be hard. But a thing that uh, you should be pr uh, familiar with, and if you're not, you need to check it out, and I will uh, try to get this posted in the uh, uh, description box, um, is Prilipin's uh, table for strength training. It's just a simple percentage-based uh, table that a lot of you should be familiar with, and it takes the percentage of your one rep max and then the optimal range of repetitions and sets or, and like total number of repetitions across a number of sets uh, to get like some type of response from it. And basically that's what I do with uh, my backup movements. Like let's say my triceps are lagging on bench, but uh, for this instance, my uh, shoulders are lagging on bench because I've uh, had my grip at about a thumbs, thumbs length away from the smooth. And I, my sticking point is about like three inches off the chest, right where I transition from uh, using my chest primarily to that like the uh, moment where my elbows flare where it's uh, mostly front and side delt um, so I've just been throwing uh, a couple of groupings off of Prilipin's table uh, into my workouts with overhead press in an effort to uh, get some stimulation in the muscles and some uh, strength uh, progressive overload and uh, pin rows right here I like these I cheat on them deal with it catch you next time